Happy New Year, Happy New Year. What is going on, everyone? Hope you guys are doing well. It's a new year. It's a new year. Isn't that exciting? Right? With everything that happened in 2020, you know, I'm sure many of you are excited about this new year and just excited about leaving some things behind and starting some new things. I hope that the holidays treated you well. I hope that you were able to spend time uh, with family as best as you could, even though we probably weren't able to spend with family physically. Technology sure has came a long way, hasn't it? What's been going on on my end? Well, nothing too, too crazy. You know, I've just been, I've taken some time to step back, taken some time to reflect a little bit and just to think about how the year went from my point of view, from a business point of view, and just all of the things that we don't usually get the time to do or to or to reflect on we're in the grindstone of trying to get ahead and, 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 and the everyday uh, hustle you could speak, you know, but I had time to sit down and plan out some things and I'm looking forward to what this year is going to bring in and, and what it has already brought us, right? I think that right there, we need to make sure that we never forget what the years and what the days and what the weeks and what the months that are already here, Right. And we can never take anything for granted. And as long as we come in and and start with a place of gratitude, then I truly believe that good things are on the horizon and good things are coming our way. Before we start this week's podcast and and, and, and getting into the message that I wanted to get into, I just want to say uh, thank you to everyone who listened to the podcast last year for sharing the podcast, for taking a screenshot and tagging us on social media on the podcast, for leaving a review on the podcast, just for tuning in with us. You know, I appreciate it. My team appreciates it. And it means a lot to us, right? I'm very cognizant of the fact that people don't have to listen to you. People don't have to listen, but I'm appreciative of the ones that do. And I hope that you can continue to share this, to continue to listen to it, and to continue to uh, hopefully take something from it that you can apply Um, in your everyday lives. If you've been following along to date and you know what season one brought, well, season two is going to be an amplified version of season one. We're going to have some great guests, some great conversations, and I'm looking forward to season two and what it's going to, to share and what it's going to offer. So let's get into what I wanted to discuss this week. First episode, right? It's a new year. And what happens in a new year, right? Usually we have New Year's resolutions. You know, you always hear new year, new me, or I'm going to hit the gym more. I'm going to cut out certain foods. I'm going to do something different. And I really love that mindset. Like I really like when people are, are, are doing something different and and working on areas that they know that they need to, maybe they've, maybe that they've put off, right? There's nothing wrong with that. I, I love hearing that the enthusiasm and the optimism of starting fresh, right? I think that's very exciting. But I want to say that throughout my athletic career, throughout my speaking career, right? As we know, it's a process to everything. There is no such thing as overnight success, right? There is no such thing as things coming together all in one day that it doesn't work like that. There is a process that it takes in order to create a foundation, in order for things to grow, in order for, for, for things to become a habit. There's a, there's a process in certain system that is in place to get the result that you want. And people always tell you, right, pursue the dream, pursue the goal, do all those things, right? But they never tell you what's on the other side. As you start your New Year's resolution, right? And you are excited. Um, You are optimistic. You are telling your friends, you're telling your parents, you're telling all your peoples, wow, this is going to be the year for me. This is going to, this is going to be great. But what I want you to understand in this first episode, right? And I hope that this episode can set the tone for the rest of the way for you, maybe even for a split second. The process is not always fun. I want to say it again, right? The process of anything isn't always fun. 
It's just not right. When I used to run track and field, I love the competition, right? I love the competitive nature of it. I love the competitive nature of sport. I love the trash talking. I love the stare downs, like all that stuff, man. Any time of the day, I would do that. But I didn't like being sore all the time. I didn't like running 150s, 200. I didn't like doing any of that. But it was part of the process. When I started speaking, you know, I wanted to just be on stage. I wanted to just be on stage and speak because I, I, I felt that same competitive nature from sport transition to the stage. It was that same competitive nature for me, right? But I knew that there were things that I had to do in order to be able to perform when I reached the stage, right? That means getting in the dictionary and making sure that I know certain words so, so I can understand certain things when I say it, making sure that when I was delivering a message that everything was one big transition and everything flowed. There were certain things that I had to do. I had to practice consistently to make sure that I got it right. And I think sometimes we are so focused on the fun of it. And when it doesn't feel fun anymore, we stop committing to it. And if we're only committing to doing something when it's fun, that means that we're only committing to doing something when it's convenient, right? And when you commit to anything that's convenient, it always has an expiration that you're going to take yourself out of it. And I think that's why most people, when they start something new, they stop after a month or two months or three months because Maybe they're not getting the results right away. And because they're not getting the results as quickly as it probably came in the beginning, that it's not fun anymore and they stop doing it. And so that's why it's important to always know and to remind ourselves that there are going to be moments when it's not fun and that's okay, but we still got to do it. There are going to be moments where it seems very tedious, but that's okay, but we still got to do it. And there are going to be moments where you don't feel like doing it. And that's okay. That's normal. But you still got to do it. Because it's those same times that your mind tries to take you out of it. It's those moments that you have to find the strength to continue doing it. Because those are the days that you grow. Those are the days that you develop a more resilient version of yourself. Those are the days that you actually develop the true meaning of what discipline is. Discipline is doing something even when you don't feel like doing it, but doing it as if you love it, as if you love doing it, right? And those are the moments that you develop those habits and develop those traits, right? It's the complete process, right? And the complete process always has its highs, it has its downs, it has its ups, it has its lows, it has its mountains, it has its valleys. It is always up and down because that is the complete process. It's a process to anything. And like anything, there is an emotional attachment to each stage of the process. And we all come down off our high sometimes. And I think that's very normal, right? As you start this new year and you are doing something new, I don't know what it is that you have committed to. Um, I would love to know. And maybe you can share some of those things uh, with us on unscripted podcast on Instagram. You can share that with us. Just DM us and let us know. But I don't know what it is that you have decided to do this year or to try something new. But I challenge you. I challenge you to commit to the whole process. Commit to the whole thing. 365 days out the year. Commit to every day as best as you can. Just commit to it. Finish what you started. Finish it. Because I guarantee you, you will understand that the process says a lot more about you, the person, than it does about what you're trying to achieve. Full commitment to the process, especially on the days when you don't feel like doing it and when it's hard to do it. Commit to it anyway, because the process isn't always fun, but that does not mean you don't commit to finishing what you started. Oh yeah, and that fun will come again. You'll get that back. 
The fun will be when you see the fruits of your labor starting to finally flourish. Oh yeah, <laughs> now that is fun. And that fun will come on the back end. But you just commit to making the most and the best of every single day despite of how you feel. Sacrifice now. Reap the benefits later. I want to thank you again for listening to episode one of season two of Unscripted. I want you to do me a quick favor. Well, three quick favors. Number one, if you're enjoying the podcast, share the podcast with a friend. Take a screenshot and tag us on Instagram. Tag someone in it and let us know that you're enjoying the podcast. That would truly mean a lot. Number two, if you could head on over to Apple Podcasts and just leave a quick rating or a review of the podcast, that would really go a long way. And if you're there, you know, drop a comment and let us know your thoughts of the podcast, whether good, whether bad. We would love to know because we would love to know how we can continue to improve and to continue to serve. Number three, if you are interested in supporting the podcast and seeing how you can best do that, Head on over to W at AkeemInspires.com, head to the tab section and look for podcast and search down and you can see how you can best help this podcast. But I want to thank you. I want to thank each of you for your consistent support over the year and that you continue to stay tuned in and stay locked in to season two of Unscripted. It's going to be another great year and I am looking forward for what's to come. Hey, we'll see you next week. Hey, come on.